Good day, good day, Mace. Today we're solving AMC 10A, problem number 18. All right, let me zoom in a bit. So we're given in this question that corn and wheat cannot be together, and soybeans and potatoes cannot be planted together. All right, so now given this, let's establish two test cases. Um, so let's say the first test case is that the top right and the bottom left, so these two uh, squares, will have the same crop. So let's say the top right, we could do corn, wheat, soybeans, or potatoes. So we have four possibilities. Now from the bottom left, since we establish in test case number one they have the same crop so for example if we choose corn here this will also be corn so we have one choice here now um, for these two squares uh, what we could do is that if we choose um, corn and corn here this could be um, corn soybeans or potatoes corn soybeans or potatoes again here so we have three choices and three choices so four times three times three or 36 different possibilities for test case number one now let's go to test case number two where the two corners of the field have different crops so again this could be four crops that we could choose from corn wheat soybeans or potatoes now this has a different crop so we could choose from wheat soybeans or potatoes now for example if we choose corn here again and if we choose wheat here this time then we only have two possibilities um, of crops that we could choose in these two squares um, so for example this could be soybeans or potatoes soybeans or potatoes now to show that this works for any other test case for example if we choose soybeans this time instead of wheat well if we choose soybeans uh, we could have um, corn or soybeans planted in these two squares corn or soybeans because we're given that corn and wheat cannot be planted together and soybeans and potatoes cannot be planted together so these are the two possibilities that we could have. So for each time, for each test case, no matter what we pick, we will see that um, this square we could have four choices, this square we have three choices, and these two squares we will only have two choices no matter what. So we will have four times three times two times two for test case number two, or 12 times uh, four, which will be 48. Now let's add these two test cases together, test case number one and two. So we have um, 36 plus 48 which equals 84 or answer choice C.